offices. Oh, yes. Okay. Rows yes. of cubicles, dark colors. is a lot of people's vision when they think of the typical work environment. Ah, but as Fox 5's Allison Marsh shows us in this, big, this month's big idea, unusual changes where you work could have a major impact on the bottom line. Would you get your best work done in an office like this? How about a desk out in the open, like this? Or how about an office with a roller skating receptionist like this? Silverline is a cloud computing consulting company. This five-year-old business overlooking Union Square in Manhattan is shaking up the traditional workspace in a big way. From shuffleboard tables oh, no. and ping pong to a fully stocked cafe with a keg. Afternoons are great, especially around you know 4:35. Uh, you'll have Kai go around and deliver uh, pints to everybody, and you'll start to see people propagate to this area, and it's a ton of fun. We have uh, yoga on Tuesday mornings. We've got lunches on Wednesdays, bagel Fridays in the morning. You can't miss that. Massage uh, appointments where people come in once a month and do massages for the whole company. Sound like all play and no work? We are hardworking people. This is a, a tough business, and people understand that, and they work really hard, but they can definitely kick back and have a good time. According to Ron Friedman, social psychologist and author of The Best Place to Work, that balance is essential. All work all the time does not make you a better employee. Friedman even supports drinking on the job. If you're looking to produce creative work, there's a lot of research showing that alcohol, in fact, you know, we get some of our best ideas after a glass of wine in the evening. Over at Etsy headquarters in Brooklyn, community and comfort are key. The online handmade marketplace is all about self-expression. When you get hired at Etsy, you get $100 gift card to spend on Etsy to decorate your space. And I feel really proud that you know, I know who made my desk. I know who made the little items that I have on it. That translates directly to better job performance. There's research showing that when you allow people to customize their workspace, their productivity shoots up. Etsy also gives employees an opportunity to chill out. You're going to keep your right knee pulled into your chest. There's even a program called Eatsy that brings in locally sourced food twice a week. You end up sitting with different people for each Eatsy most of the time and like there are great stories about even like site features that have come about because of an Etsy conversation. Back in Manhattan in the Garment District, Starwood Hotels just unveiled its new Star Lab, a brand innovation studio where teams can work in a creative environment. We've tried to create a space where collaboration is probably the number one focus. Conference rooms are designed to feel just like different Starwood hotels. So this is our W hotel room. You know, a big emphasis for the W hotels is uh, the beverage and the food instead of the food and beverage. And so what we've done is we've created a bar-like atmosphere for the meetings with stools and, and a different type of seating. There's a digital chandelier which broadcasts tweets from hotel guests in real time, an Instagram wall, life-sized inspiration boards to work from, and meeting rooms designed like libraries with stadium seating. Most importantly, there are plenty of windows. We had a space that's actually built on four different buildings with a terrace in the middle. When we're around daylight, it lowers our blood pressure. It increases our body's production of serotonin, which puts us in a good mood. So when we're given an environment that helps us do our work, we're a lot more impactful in the work that we do. But you don't need bars, games, and big screen TVs to catapult your workplace into the future. Friedman says small changes, like standing meetings, sunlight, and restorative breaks can make a major difference. Allison Morris, Fox 5 News. Hmm. And our conversation continues on our digital platforms. We want to know, would you want to work in non-traditional offices like the ones you just saw? Head to our Facebook page and tell us what you think of them. 